what is it? Crypt setup lux close, and that's not an uppercase L. And then X, that's all you need to type. The device alias that you gave it when you opened it. Device busy. Oh, that's because it automatically mounted it. I'm sorry. Um, I wonder if I could tell mount to U-mount X without actually giving it a device path. Uh, I haven't tried that before. Unmount X. Evidently not. So, we'll type uh, unmount dev mapper X. It says not mounted. Oh, I called it something else. It calls it DM crypt or some shit. Um, list dev. I forgot about that. Uh, D D D D D D C D M zero. You mount dev D M zero. Yeah, when the system automatically does. Now watch. You should not be able to access it now without entering a password again. What the hell? All right. Make me look like a damn liar. 80 gigabyte media. It's under media. All right. Whatever. Here, we're just going to unmount media disk. I don't know what device that actually was then. It should have been DM0, which is... Um, the DM crypt or something like that. The system, the system's way of naming it. But anyway, all right. So now you see the different ways to work with Lux. There's two different ways that you can only set it up. As far as I know, I could be wrong, but as far as I know, you can only set it up from the command line. You cannot set it up through a GUI yet. Um, and I, I could be wrong about that. Let's see. Uh, here, this one says it's empty. Here, we'll, we'll, let's see. Alright, new. Extension 2. Primary partition. Huh! Alright. Well, anyway, I'm assuming that there is no GUI interface for Lux. Now, once you set Lux up on a device, you can format it from a GUI, uh, unmounted. For example, you would access it with Lux to open it, and then you could use Gported to actually format it to a specific file system type. Um, but you have to actually access it with Lux if it's already been encrypted, uh, and is and obviously if there's anything on it, you're going to erase it when you format it. So anyway, that's how you work with Lux, and. That's it. You, you just use a damn password. If You can reinstall Linux a hundred times. You can put the hard drive in another machine altogether, and all you need is your password. That's it. It's lovely. And, like I said, the system automatically does everything for you now. Now you can just click on it and enter your password to open it. You don't have to type out all the shit, but you do have to type it out when you're setting it up. Um, and, and it, except for my case, where for some reason the system's being buggy about it. Anyway, alright, Lux, that's one more reason why Linux is better than Windows. And for the guy that made a comment earlier about he doesn't use Linux because it's just a kernel, I mean Linux-based systems. It's a generic term. Everybody knows what I mean. You mean what I know. All right, that concludes this video. All right, listen, I feel kind of shitty about uh, neglecting to properly create a partition first on that drive that we encrypted with Lux. So um, I'm going to append this little video real quick to it. Uh, Sue and his root. And open G parted. This assumes that you just stuck a flash drive in or a hard drive and you want to encrypt it. Alright. Unallocated. We know that's not true. We know that that is an encrypted Lux partition that we can access right here and now. But the system doesn't because we did not create a partition. We encrypted the whole freaking device. So we're going to go to new. Leave it as extension 2. Actually, go down to unformat. We don't even need a format. New primary partition. And that's all you got to do. Click add. And click apply. And click apply again. Now we're done.
All right, now we have dev SDI1 instead of dev SDI, as we did before. Now, with our crypt set up, we will tell Lux to format dev SDI1. And if I could spell, we'd probably get a lot further. And type yes, uppercase, create a password. All right, now we gotta tell Lux to open the device for, op uh, for writing. So just hit up in your command history, get erase format, and replace it with open, uppercase O. Uh, so it should read, crypt setup, lux open, dev SDI1, and then give it an alias. I'm just going to call it data. Enter your passphrase to open the device. Now it's opened. It's not mounted, it's just opened. So we should be able to see in Gparted the same thing we he see here, we should see on the new... Uh, encrypted drive, and we do. As you can see, it sees it as an uh, unknown partition, whereas before it's seen it as an unformatted device. So now it knows that that is an unformatted partition, and the system, when you reboot, will know that that is a corrupt, devi corrupt cr Lux device, and it will take the appropriate actions. Um, so that's how you do that. Sorry I didn't do it right the first time. Uh, we all make mistakes, right? Forgive and forget, eh? Eh? Uh... I got an ant crawling on me. All right, and um, USB drive, USB drive. I wonder which one's the actual one. Rescan USB drive. Let's see what happens. We might not have to remount it just to get the system to recognize it. But then again, I'm going to assume we do. Anyway, I'm cutting this off because, like I said, I just want to do that last part. That's how you do it the right way. Um, sorry I made the mistake before, but that's how you do it the right way. And then when you reboot, the system should see it, and you should be able to just go to Places and then click on your encrypted drive and pr be prompted with the password to open it. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And remember, we don't need the device name uh, path. Just Lux close uppercase C and then the device alias. We gave it, in this case, data. Now it's closed or we could have mounted it instead using the mount command. All right, that's the proper way to do it.